All right, it's way up at Angela Yee. I'm here. Mano's here. Good morning. Go ahead and spill that Yee tea, baby. All right, well, let's get into it. Lamar Odom was in Vegas, and he went to go see Real Doll. What a doll. Listen, let me tell you something. So he went on a tour of the facility, and there's all these, like, female sex dolls and also male sex dolls with, you know, huge organs. Wow, you um, had to add that, didn't you? So he was in the facility, you know, checking everything out. The dolls go for between $8,000 and $20,000, but they right. gave him a good deal. Um, so you get to custom order what you want, and he wanted a doll that looks like his ex. Here's what he was saying. And yo, it's crazy because it looks right. like she got blood running through her veins right here. Like, am I bugging or am I am I going crazy? Look, no, it's the realism. That's you see? Here. Look, that's yeah. Am right yeah. I bugging though? So you can get it to look like whatever yes. you, whoever you want it to look like. Now, Lamar Odom's manager Gina Rodriguez told TMZ that he wanted the daughter to have voluptuous curves in the face of his ex-wife, Khloe Kardashian, mm-hmm. and that he thinks that this Khloe-like sex doll will be perfect because he can do whatever he wants with her sexually. And he's trying to get it before oh the God. holidays, so uh, he wants to that make sure he has a, it Yeah, that before New Year's. sounds a little Year's. crazy to me, man. Wow. It does, right? So you, you're going to, like, what, be in a relationship with the doll? Right and, <sighs> yeah, I know Khloe's like, okay. Is this, this the doll? Well, no, that's just him touring the facility, and I guess that's what he wants the doll to look like, uh, the picture oh I just showed you. Does that look like Khloe Kardashian to you? He going to hit the doll. Like, the yep. doll All right. around. Now, hit. if you're looking to buy a house, uh, Diddy's Beverly Hills Mansion is for sale, but it is not attracting any buyers. They're saying only a few potential buyers have even walked through the mansion, and nobody has shown any interest in actually purchasing it. So... They said it could be because of, you know, the charges of things that happened there. And also the real estate market slows down around the holidays. So it's not an easy time. Um, But, yes, we'll see what happens if somebody decides to do that. They're probably going to end up selling it for way less. How much you want for it? I'm not sure what the listing price is. right. Well, 61, I think $61 million. Yeah, that's what they're asking. But they're they're not going to get that. And, you know, they have that extravagant tax in California and L.A. right now on on properties that are that expensive, a luxury mansion tax. All right, um, Ernie Hudson is talking about some of these uh, wild Hollywood parties and how he managed to avoid a lot of things. Uh, here is what we here's what he had to say. It was some pretty wild parties, but I would be at a party and I had friends who would come up to me and say, um, hey Ernie, you might want to leave now. I would always leave. And then I find out later there was some weird stuff going on and people, whatever. And I'm like, I, so I always had people who kind of looked out for me. And that was on the Smitty and D podcast. It's interesting. And that's Ernie from Ghostbusters. I know who that is. I've seen him here before. Yeah, he was up here before. You know, it's interesting. Somebody was telling me the other day about they would go to parties, um, some of those parties. And then when it was time to leave, there would be a few people that didn't leave. And they were like, I guess I wasn't invited to like the after after thing. I would just be like, okay, isn't it over? Whose party was this? Going. Just some of those parties. You know, I'll let them tell their story one day, maybe. All right, well, that is your Yeti. When we come back, we have About Last Night, where we discuss what we did last night. I um, told you I was at DJ Clyde Kent's funeral. And I wasn't invited. And then I was also at a pop-up restaurant for Chef JJ. That was pretty amazing. All right, it's way up. 